Welcome back, everybody. Your time right now is 644, and we are joined this morning by Mayor Quentin Lucas, who is joining us to speak about the local impact regarding the coronavirus. Good morning to you, Mayor. I'm going to get right to it to uh, hopefully get as many questions in as we can. First things first, we want to start with uh, something that happened this week. We know that there was a positive testing, uh, positive case on a ride KC bus that passenger rode on April 1st, and then we didn't find out until this week. The question for you is, uh, you know, why didn't we know sooner about this, and how big of a problem? problem is that moving forward as we continue to get more and more positive cases, uh, trying to inform the public quickly. I imagine that has to be tough. You know, I think we're working our hardest to make sure the public knows every uh, thing that we can know about cases. I mean, step one, we need to make sure that we respect a patient's privacy. We also need to make sure that we are informing and cleaning groups like the KCATA, our buses that are involved, etc. So I don't think there's any type of nefarious behavior. We're just trying to make sure that we can handle all that we have to do. And in case you're wondering right now, there's a lot of pressure on our public health department, not only to trace cases, provide testing, but also to make sure we get information out. And that makes total sense. We know that they are so busy Busy. One of the things that we have been asking them constantly this week is for more data and more reporting regarding the number of positive cases that are of African Americans. And we know that you have spoken out about all of this on Twitter. Uh, something that's frustrated you is that once yep. again, St. Louis knows that every single person that has died from this virus uh, is a black person. And we don't know any details regarding that here in Kansas City. For you, how frustrating is that? And how could it help us if we did know here uh, start to maybe curb this virus or get into the communities where it is hitting the hardest? You know, I think it uh, is incredibly frustrating to me. And I know there's a debate right now among some in public health and certainly some in public policy, but I think we should always uh, veer towards more information than less. I think when you have something that is having such an amazing uh, and heartbreaking disparity in places like St. Louis, Milwaukee, Chicago, Detroit, um, I think it uh, undermines much of our mission to say that either we cannot share or we don't know enough about it. Uh, it is clear that we need to do better messaging in a number of our communities. It is clear that we have a number of folks in our black and brown communities who continue to be exposed. And I don't see that as something that's uh, us being discriminatory in any way. I think it's us being honest and it's us trying to say that we care about everyone in our community. So I will continue to implore our public health department and direct them in situations where essentially to make sure that we're sharing that information more fully. And we'll continue asking them those questions as well. We appreciate your perspective on that. One more thing I want to get to. On the day that Kansas reported its most deaths in one single day, we also had yeah. some Republican lawmakers overturning the governor's order, uh, revoking that, saying that we should ban large gatherings ahead of the Easter holiday. You know, state line is just really a name. Uh, it's not a barrier. It doesn't keep Kansans from no. coming to Missouri and KC Moan. It doesn't keep Missourians from going to the other side. Uh, uh, what's your frustration regarding this or, you know, what kind of danger does that put Kansas City, Missouri in as well? I think the decision from the Kansas Legislative uh, Committee was uh, atrocious. I think it is terrible for the people of Kansas and all of us who live nearby. Um, I think the governor uh, came up with a wise order several days ago. I think it was important for public safety. And I think that uh, what we saw yesterday was uh, purely political. They were the types of shenanigans that should not be part of our important public health discussion. I hope everyone in Kansas, everyone in Missouri watching as well, uh, heeds public public health advice does not go to uh, large church gatherings or small church gatherings. It has nothing to do with religion. It has everything to do with keeping people alive. And uh, so I, I was very disappointed to see what happened in Kansas yesterday. Okay, Mayor Lucas joining us this morning with the latest on the impact here locally. We appreciate all the hard work you're doing. We, we, don't, we know that you likely aren't sleeping much. We know that there's just a list of to-do things that goes on and on. So thank you so much. Uh, have a good rest of the morning. Right now, let's get you over to Aaron Little with your hey, forecast you. here on this Thursday. Aaron, 